Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the 39th high game tutorial video. In this video, you're going to find out I'm a dirty liar. So, I said we were going to do uh, CX freeze, but actually I meant to do pausing first. So, we're actually going to cover pausing real quick in this video, and then the next video we'll talk about converting your script to an executable. So, with that, let's go up to the top here, and now we want to have another function, and this function is going to be our pause function. So we're going to do uh, define pause. Pause is going to be empty parameters. And then the way that our pause functionality is going to work is it's basically going to ins institute its own little like mini instance of Pygame. So when the user hits P to pause, uh, it's just going to say pause, and then press C to continue, Q to quit, whatever. And, and it's just going to keep going through that until someone presses P or Q or exits out of the screen. So it's going to be like a little mini instance of our game loop. So with that, let's go ahead and just hop into it. So first of all, we're going to start with paused equals true. So a lot like game over equals false, that kind of stuff. And we're going to say while paused, what do we want to do? Well, while we're paused, basically we want to go through the event loop and see what the user is doing. So we're going to say for event in pygame.event.get empty parameters. Um, what do we want to do? And then now we're going to check for the pygame.quit and now we're going to check for the uh, <clears throat> key presses. So if event.type equals pygame.allcaps quit, then we want to go ahead and run a pygame.quit and we want to run a just straight up quit. And that's that. And then we're going to say if event.type equals uh, pygame dot and all caps key down, then we're going to ask uh, if event dot key equals pygame um, dot k underscore c for continue basically. We're going to say paused equals false. So this while loop will finish and then our function will be done. Um, elif event dot key equals pi game dot uppercase k underscore q. What do we want to do? Well, we want to do a pi game dot quit to uninitialize pi game, and then we'll run our quit. And that's that. Now, outside of this for event loop, we're going to come over, still within our while loop though, and now we're going to say game display dot fill and we'll fill it with white then we're going to say message underscore two underscore screen and what do we want that message to be well first of all we want to let them know like hey you hit p it's paused so paused and then um, what color do we want it we'll want it black and then where do we want that pause we're going to do negative 100 uh, pixels up basically, well, 100 pixels up, not negative 100 pixels up. Pixels up. Size equals large. Then we want to notify them like, how do we get out of this screen? <laughs> so message underscore two underscore screen, and this will be uh, press C to continue or Q to quit. Um, again, we'll make this black. And this is one we'll move it down about 25 pixels. That should work out. And that's it. It's going to be the smallest text. Oh, I got itchy back. No, oh, smallest text. So we don't have to actually define size because small was the default function parameter. So that's that. Now we're going to do pygame.display.update. Update. There we go. And then we're going to do clock.tick. And I'm just going to do five. Again, it really does not matter. You could put your typical frames per second in there, but I just think it's kind of silly to be running through 30 frames per second on a, on a pause screen. I mean, the very definition of pause is like we're pausing the game. So let's go ahead and not be running through uh, 30 frames a second or more. So clock.tick5, done. Now, that's all fine and dandy. Our pause function should, in theory, work, unless I've got a typo in there somewhere. But now we have to actually be able to call up a pause function. So we're going to come down to our game loop. And hold on. 
while game over equals true. Okay, so basically here, where we where we've defined for event, so after the game exit stuff, and here's where we're like turning our snake around and stuff, like based on key presses. So now we can just throw in another elif statement. So we'll come down here, and we can just say elif event dot key equals pygame game dot k underscore p. So if they press the p key. P key uh, we just want to run the pause function. That's it. So um, let's go ahead and save and run that and see if everything is working as we might expect. Press C to play. We're moving around. Happy dappy. Okay, we press P. It paused. Let's press C to continue. We continue. And just to show you that it's not like restarting the game or something, it really is pausing. Let's get a couple apples here. Good. And we'll hit P to pause. C to continue. Nice. Still working on our same score. And nice. Pause. Q to quit. Awesome. So that's working out. Now the only thing I would add to this <clears throat> is, I don't know, some way of notifying the user that you can press P. So you've got C to play, Q to quit, and then I would say P to pause. So um, we want to go up to our game intro. Somewhere up here, I think. Yeah, so our game intro function. Come down here, press C to play or Q to quit. I'm just going to say press C to play, P to pause, and then or Q to quit. Easy enough. So now when we run this, um, the user can see, well, you hit C to play, P to pause, Q to quit. Sweet, I can play and I can pause. Easy enough. OK. So um, sorry for being a dirty little liar, but I did want to cover pausing. I think it's pretty necessary. Um, yet very simple to add pausing uh, to your game. Now there's a couple of things. Obviously, some people may want to pause um, and still show. You could pause without clearing the screen if you really wanted. Um, there's a few different things that you could do for that. You could have event handling, but not update the screen. So you do one quick screen update, and then you have your uh, event handling loop that will exit so there's no reason to keep updating the screen at all really but you can if you want so um, and what you could do is have the paused over uh, over the snake and maybe I'll show you guys how to do that in not the next video but the video after that the next one I'll show you guys how to make the distribution uh, just so I'm not a dirty liar but we'll do that and then I'll show you I think how to do a pause screen maybe over everything something like that so anyway stay tuned for those uh, an exciting uh, video next, I promise. This time it's for real. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.